So quite a few of you responded with shock of humans having a third set of teeth. When did this discovery occur? Personally, I never heard of it in dental school. For years, dentists noticed rare cases of extra teeth, but no one knew why. Then scientists found something incredible. Your body forms a third wave of tooth buds, but they usually stay dormant, never erupting, never being seen. Decades ago, this was just a theory. In the early 2000s, research into dental lamina, which is the tissue responsible for tooth development, it suggested a rudimentary third wave of tooth buds could form, but typically remains inactive or regresses before eruption. We knew it stopped developing, but we didn't know why. What cellular response stops continued cellular growth of the tissue that initially creates teeth? In the 2010s, studies using mouse models lacking the USAG1 gene began showing unexpected third molar development, providing molecular evidence that this third set could be activated under the right conditions. Then, a landmark paper published in 2021 repeatedly demonstrated that knocking out the USAG1 protein in animal models caused a third set of teeth to grow. Hence, the protein USAG1 was the sole control point for inhibiting the growth of new tooth buds. Only months later, researchers again in Japan figured out how to block USAG1, and when they did, mice, pigs, even ferrets started growing brand new teeth, which confirmed the regulation of the tooth growth. Aww, that's actually how we do research. We have these little chairs and little mice researchers too. Now, the first human trials are underway, but again, these stages of the trials in humans determine safety. Phase two would establish the effectiveness and stage three would assess the overall benefit to risk profile. Next week, we'll talk about what this actually may mean for replacing a tooth just by taking medication.